Hey guys, I'm back again for the weekly reading. For those of you who are just tuning in, I'm Anne, and in this video, I give general love readings focusing on divine partners, um, counterparts that include soulmates, twin flames, twin rays, and anybody that you're connected to on a romantic level. I invite you to stay tuned and watch. I'm sure there's a message here. Okay, um, I know that we're all going through still the same thing, and it's, you know, like, it's one thing after another. It's basically the same. So um, I'm not going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about how spring is coming in. And spring is a, my one of my favorite times of the year because it's just about rebirth. It's about new beginnings. It's about changes. It's about just bringing out that new energy of love um, in the air. You know, you always hear the birds and the bees and, you know, they're chirping and, you know, like all this new stuff is just coming I love it and I've been working a lot outside because you know we are all basically in on this together um, but you know what I'm so excited this is like the first week I'm like really um, motivated for spring um, now that I see things coming up you know it's it's hard when you know it's constantly raining and the weather's not cooperating and you know what I don't want to go about the weather and stuff because it just it's it's like that in Cleveland we, we have the same thing every year after year so um, the first card that we got out today for the divine masculine is sensitivity a very beautiful card as you could see if you could read it i will read it to you the frequency of sensitivity helps us open to the world of subtlety and detail while anchoring in a structural foundation thus supporting us to become more fully multi-dimensional that's kisses walking around so if you hear a little pitter patter feet there she is right there <laughs> so um basically divine masculines the energy levels are been heightened. They have been um, for some time now. And it's not because of what the universe is going through, our world is going through, but something is triggering off something inside of them. And and this is something that's been coming up. This is something we've been seeing in previous readings. But then it goes, they go right back to running away from whatever it is. And this is a lot to do with what they have inside them that is time. This is a time for them to um, to shine their light, to, to unfold whatever it is that they're, um, they're getting a lot of, a lot to do with releasing jealousy, <coughs> releasing jealousy. Oh, that's kisses. Well, just one second. Let me let her go. Come on, kissy. Come on, go ahead. Okay. Sorry about that. Yeah. So, um, release jealousy. I apologize guys. You know, I'd never like to get interruptions, but she wanted to come in. So that's kissy. Um, Jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something and the universe manifests exactly as you affirm. Let other people's successes inspire rather than frustrate you. If they can't have it, so can you. So releasing the jealousy is a lot to do with what um, divine masculine energies are doing as well with the sensitivity. Um, they're sensitive to a lot and you may be feeling that. Um, you maybe feel like something is about to happen, you know, like there's an uproar, like a, like a, like ang anxious energy coming through. Not that that's a bad thing because when we take a step back, we can see. Um, but when you're always like hyper, hyper in a way, you, you know, and your, your levels are like sky high through the roof. You can't see what is triggering you because you are allowing it. So this is a time for divine masculine to release the energies of jealousy of, um, regret of pain um, and this is where divine masculine is starting to see it they're starting to see it in order for union to happen because union is right there with everything that's happening despite of what like the world seems like it's just going bonkers it's just going crazy you know it's not meant for us not to live our life okay you got what I'm saying this is like a test of faith or something it's something that's in the universe that we are all being we're, we are all beings on this beautiful planet and going through this journey together, many of us with our divine partners, many of us ready to meet our divine partners, many of us are healing from divine partners that come into our lives because they haven't met them yet. So union, union is an important force that brings them together, is the best way I can put it. And this is where that beautiful love relationship blossoms, though it doesn't always happen that way. Remember that because there are things that divine union must go through okay it doesn't necessarily mean you're meant to suffer with somebody okay 
get that out of your heads. It's not about you need to go through a lot of pain with someone. Yes, there can be some difficulties. There can be some challenges. Um, you may have also went through them prior to this relationship or prior to getting prepared to meet your divine counterpart. Okay. There's, there's a lot of mis misguided information out there that tells you that you need to go through a lot of negativity before you can meet your, your divine partner. Okay. There's different cases. Everybody's different. I'm just trying to generalize it because I know I'm going to get like asked, well, what does that mean for me? And you know, people get like confused, which I don't blame them because it's, it is a general reading for the collective. So, um, whatever message comes to you, then that is your message. All right. That's the best way I can put it. But when union happens, it is a beautiful experience, but both, both, both sides, both energies need to be on the same level. Um, if one is healed and one isn't, or vice versa, it won't work. You know, it'll be a lot of chaos. It'll be a lot of that negativity that you, you, you've been maybe hearing about and reading about, like with twin flames. They do go through a lot, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they can't make it work. You know, they can work on it together or they can work on, an, on another um, side. So as this card says, the energy of union activates our ability to unite our outer and inner aspects towards a state of wholeness. So listen, when union happens, it happens because they are meant to find something inside them before they can um, make it work. It's like a um, piece of a puzzle. You know, you're trying to fit that piece in and you know what? It needs to be trimmed or, you know, the person that made the puzzle just didn't, didn't fit it properly. So they need to reevaluate it or they need to redo it. We need to refabricate this, this puzzle so that it can fit perfect and it can join connecting because sometimes there's an outer layer. There's a, there's, there's, um, something that needs to be removed. You know, if it's something that they have put there or something that somebody has given to them, it's all about them making it work. So that, that message came through out of nowhere because, um, that was a message that must have been given to me to give to you, maybe somebody out there. So if that resonates with you, it was for you. Positivity, faith, and optimism. That's another beautiful card. Isn't that beautiful? I'll read it to you. You open the doorway to positive experiences, opportunities with your positive expectations and energy. Do not allow negative energy or temporary setbacks to interfere with the path that you are on. Keep the faith and keep going. Okay. So that's another thing with divine masculine. They tend to, they, they tend to cover it all up. They tend to, you know, like the ego part takes over and because they need the optimism, they need that positivity to bring them going, to make them going, to bring that energy out there. They are being triggered off because something is very sensitive. This card keeps jumping out and it keeps telling me that there is something that you're not getting, something that you need to, you need to realize before you can, um, you can connect with that person. Maybe that person isn't, isn't like seeing you for who you are because you're not seeing yourself for who you are. You're not giving yourself enough credit for what you've done. Um, release the anger, release the negativity. Divine masculines right now are in the process of releasing that. So what message is coming to you? Um, whatever you're getting from this, it's time for you to just like open up to that part of yourself so that you can feel, um, the, the faith, the optimism, you know, it's there. You have to look through it. You have to open up to it. This positive experience though we're surrounded. I know guys, we're surrounded by so much going on and telling us, gosh, when is it going to get better? Gosh, it's never going to get better. I see that all the time and I hear it and I just say, no, 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 no. I don't want to hear that because that's the outer layer. Yeah. And you know what? I see something more than that. I see something blossoming, like, you know, just outdoors and it was just so beautiful. The springtime energy is here. We got to embrace it because going back to the basics, going back to life. Yeah. Things were going to be a little bit different, a little bit more, um, you know, you have to just, you have to just go with it, you know, a little more compromising, you know, than we've done before. Awareness, divine feminines, awareness, being aware, exactly what I'm talking about. Being aware you know, what is around you, um, as far as 
springtime weather okay springtime energy not what's what the news is saying and not what everybody is trying to plant seeds in your head don't listen to it you know if there is somebody out there that is trying to tell you something you need to do something no you do what your heart is telling you um you know keeping social distancing i strongly recommend it you know because i feel you know we need to protect ourselves from this because because it's not something that we are certain about it's uncertainty and you know that energy going out there sometimes can be you know um how can i say i'm not it's not, not that it's scary it's more of like it's it's something you want to just avoid i don't like getting sick i don't like getting colds um you know i had a bad allergy attack during christmas time remember on my previous videos it was not fun it was not i talked to you guys about it before this is a this is something a lot different than an allergy. I understand that, but I'm having those feelings too from the outdoor, so I have to be careful. Um, but anyways, you got what I'm saying. Don't let don't let this energy of people telling you it's the end of the world because I've been hearing that and you know putting pain and fear and doubt. No, we're gonna get through it. We're gonna do it. Don't don't pay attention to that. But be safe. Be smart. You know that, and I know you are. I'm not saying you're not, but you know just awareness. That's why I feel like divine feminines are being more aware. We know it. And I'm not stereotyping this, that this is a woman thing. No, you protect yourself. You 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 pretty much know when your relationship needs protection, protection energy as well. Like, like the feminine energy knows. The energy of awareness supports our capacity to focus our attention to all aspects of multi-dimensional world. Wow. So that we can create reality that we truly choose. Just what I was saying, right? Look at that. You know, I want you guys, you guys can pause it and you guys can see it. Oh, hopefully that gets clear. There we go. Yeah. So what you see on the surface, just like, you know, with global warming, just like, oh, the weather um, is changing. Climates are changing. There's fires here. All this stuff is just going on. That's what this is right now. Okay. Remember that that's what this is. And when it comes to relationship going through a, a traumatic experience or going through rocky times or a separation or breakups or, you know, just uncertainty, same thing, you know, like it's an example of life, example of life that what this card is telling us now, I'm just looking at obstacles, blocks, obstacles and blocks are lifted. So you get the point, guys. You know, these are not, this is not permanent with divine feminine feeling so blocked. So, um, they're feeling blocked, but they're also aware and they're opening themselves. So I'm going to read this card, all your good personal work and your positive energy shift, your positive and your positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles and blocks are lifted away. You will now experience progress and forward movement with your projects. Stay centered on grat in gratitude to ensure that your flow of abundance continues. Okay, so exactly what we're doing is we're releasing those blocks, releasing those obstacles because we are aware. We are not as scared. We are not afraid. We are we are brave. We are strong. And you know, I I. I like I, I salute all those who are on front line and I commend those who are working for us, you know, round the clock and they have to be strong, you know, because they are, they are our warriors of the world. Each and every one of them, each and every one of them, whoever is out there right now working for the, for the world, the goodness of the world, you know, we have to, we have to appreciate that and the obstacles are being lifted. So like I said, divine feminines are fighting back and the energy with everything, you know, it's all combined. This is all combined. Everything that's going on, if you're going through like, like a traumatic experience with something that it feels almost like, you know, it's never going to change. It's never going to come about my life with this person just, just seems like it's going around in circles and they're never going to give me what I'm looking for. That's not the way to think because if you give up on your, your specific relationship, you're giving up on something you believe in your heart because you know you're going to be right back. Or you know that you're not going anywhere. But if you keep on saying these negative words, you're not letting the positivity. You're not being optimistic. You're not allowing yourself to, to live. Because your mind is set on and, and fixated in one direction. 
This is a time to forgive yourself, Divine Feminines. It's telling you Divine Feminine energy needs to just let go. Beautiful card. I love the colors of it. Reminds me of spring. The energy of forgiveness straightens our capacity to let go of unwanted feelings and emotions. So exactly what I'm talking about, it's because when we start to let go, when we start to release those obstacles and, and um, blocks, because a lot gets planted, guys. I'm going to tell you right now, a lot gets planted, a lot gets to the point where we say, oh, um, this is the way it is. You know, like I just said about the relationship thing, um, you know, because it's not going to happen. That must have been a message for somebody. Um, and if you keep thinking negative or maybe someone is never going to come into my life, I mean, just... I'm talking about, I'm not telling you what exactly, but if you're getting that message, then you know what I'm talking about. The negative mindset is always going to pull you down and you're never going to forgive the past hurt. When I say past hurt, there's something lingering on inside of you that you have not forgiven, that you have not let go of. And you know what happens? It just builds up even to more pain and more hurt, more anger. And you're, you're never going to forgive yourself because you've not forgiven that person. So maybe that person is out of your life or that situation happened in your life that you, you know, you, you still held on to that pain. You're never going to heal from it and move on. Move on is in, you're not moving forward. So let go of whatever that pain was. Start over again. Like I said, spring, fresh new beginnings. We are in on it together. We are going to fight this thing that's here. We are going to plant our flowers in the midst of all of this, if you don't have a, a garden or a yard, get a little flower pot. Buy a little flower pot. I got my pink and purple roses. Of course, they are not real, but I love looking at them. And you know what? That's why I love flowers, because it just makes me feel good. It makes me feel like there's there's that beautiful spring energy of life and summer energy. And if you're in fall, you know what? Get yourself sunflowers and those fall leaves. I mean, there it's it doesn't matter what season it is, is what I'm saying. Make the best of it. Do what you have to do. Let it go. Release it. When you start doing that, you know what happens? You start planting like positive seeds. And you know what happens? Those positive seeds start to linger. And you know what happens? Other people start looking at you and start saying, I want what he has or she has. I want what they have. Once that happens, well, it just spreads like wildfire. It's just everywhere. Everybody, you know, just feels that positive joy and feels uplifted. If we start doing that, you know, around the world, you know, even if it's just a few percent of us doing it, we can actually make this like a new thing where people are like, instead of being all anxiety, because it's like the new thing nowadays, oh, you have anxiety or you're stressed, you've got a lot of stuff going on. You know what? That has become like so common in today's world, seriously, because that's, that's just life. I mean, things happen, but you have a choice. You have a choice to make a decision. Do I want to feel that way? Do I want to feel this pain or feel what I felt before and hold on to it? Or do I want to choose happy and positivity? Because though we don't have no control on what this thing in this world is doing, you know, we have no control, but we can try to combat it and we will combat and we will defeat it. Okay. I'm telling you this with, 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 you know, with love and you know what I'm believing in my heart, because I know we can do it, but I need, you guys to feel it too. We all need to feel it. We all need to go with it with the love in our hearts because when there's positivity, when there is um, that feeling of, you know, I'm choosing something in my mind. When you choose something, it's basically what your thoughts are. We can choose what our thought pattern is. We can choose where to direct our mind at. The power of the mind is incredible. Okay. It's incredible. And it can plant seeds. Seriously. That's why be careful what TV shows you watch. Um, yeah, I watch a lot of stuff. I watch everything. If you, those of you know me, I'm, you know, I'm not like, oh, it has to be no violence or, you know, nothing with negativity or anything. I, I'm a Game of Thrones fan. As many of you know, you know, I'm going to tell you the truth. You know, I like those kind of fictional things. Yeah. Because it takes me away from reality. I mean, not away from reality, <laughs> but you know what I mean? It just, just for that, like 40 minutes, I just like to dream and, you know, it's nice to see things like that. And so what I'm saying is, you know, be, be mindful on, you know, if you're seeing things that are just bringing negative 
feelings or vibes. You know, certain shows I'm talking about. You know, it doesn't necessarily that horror is bad. It's not necessarily that this is bad. But if it's bringing a negative feeling inside of you, and I'm not going to mention the names of the shows because some people enjoy them. Maybe I can't, but they can. So that's preference, you know, and that's fine. You know, I, I'll watch everything. I, I'm pretty much watching everything, you know, doctor shows and um, Blacklist and, you know, like all the popular shows and, you know, Outland, Out, Out, Outlanders, I think it's called. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, those are like a few of them that I'm just mentioning to you because it's a little bit of variety of everything. They plant seeds, but you want to be careful of what plants the wrong seeds. And even that goes for the news. To me, I'll watch certain things, but I won't watch everything because if you dig too deep and look on the internet and look onto TV and look onto what other people are saying, that is what they are saying. But that doesn't change what who you are and what you feel inside. So plant the seed of positivity. I don't know how I got into that conversation. We didn't even get to the to the last card. Okay detox your friendships okay maybe a little sensitive guys i know i know a little sensitive but it did come up and i didn't pick it it just came up so well i did pull it but i didn't pick it your abundance flow is being affected by the people with whom you're spending time so be be discerning about your associations and relationships choose to be with people who are inspiring generous and supportive okay Listen, guys, this goes for like, like people out there in the universe, um, in the world, I should say, like on social media. Um, you know, if somebody is harassing or I won't say harassing, maybe like pulling you down and giving you negative comments. And it seems like there is always sarcasm in their words and you don't really know them that well. Or, you know, you do know them very, you do know them, but they just seem to like, like, I don't know, just bring bring a negative vibe. You know, I, I try my best. If I don't got nothing nice to say, I'm not going to say nothing. But that's my philosophy on, you know, when I comment and say things. And if they say something like that to me, well, that's their, you know, their opinion. And I, I just let it go. I, I really do. I, I will take constructive constructive criticism. Um, but sometimes it, it is offensive. And that's when you have to do what you have to do. You know what I'm saying? So you have to block. Yeah, that's what I do. I don't even bother to, you know, justify anything because it's just more or, you know, it's just how you how you want to take it. Doing what you feel when it comes to your friends. Yeah. Right now we're social distance. Social distancing, meaning that we can't really spend time, physical time, but we can talk on the phone. We can do FaceTime. We can do videos like this. This is great. This is wonderful. But if there is something that is bringing you down and you can't stomach stomach it or you can't really tell them because there's a closer relationship maybe it's a family member and we've had a lot of them um, I know I have anyways you have to because it's pulling you down it's it's really pulling your spirit down you know and it's just not making you feel good you know and I'm not gonna go into it but you know it's it's actually damaging you it's actually breaking you and if you allow it and, you know, sometimes people are saying, well, I'm just joking with you. Oh, I'm just joking with you. But you said it. I wouldn't joke with somebody and say something negative unless it's cute and funny, but more of like it's playful and it's more of like positive, you know, and not like in a way where they're criticizing you. So I don't know why, where I'm going with this, but I have to just lay it out the way I see what I'm seeing, what I'm picking up from this message. Detox your friendship. In, in a sense where you're distancing yourself, fading away. And that goes for a relationship. If that relationship seems to be not becoming toxic, but becoming very irritable to you, that you can't really find yourself in a good place with that person, well, then it really is time to really think about it. Um, is it really somebody you're connected to or is it somebody you're just codependent to? Ask yourself that seriously because it may be just somebody you're connected to and you find that if you disconnect you're going to be all alone mm -mm. you're going to be all alone if you stay with that person because you feel like that person is you know you're codependent with that person if that makes sense it's it's it, i know sometimes when you just release it let it go that person will either find themselves come back to you or you'll find somebody new it just goes that way okay so lots of interesting things came up here i found a lot of messages that you know i 
like they, they're not pertaining to the court, but messages are coming up. So like I said, this is for the collective. It's not necessarily geared upon just direct one type of um, soul partner. Um, and basically it's take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, revisit this video if you find that there's some things that you may be able to retrieve later because it resonate, resonated, but not 100%. It, it, does, it goes like that for me too. Um, also, if you'd like to get your own personalized reading, I do offer phone, chat, and email readings, and the links are down below in the description area. Um, please be patient. I'm running my schedule um, accordingly. I do have a lot of things that I've been working on um, with uh, spiritual groups around the world, and I'm taking more clients, and I'm working with companies where, you know, they're sending me their overflow. So this is why if I've been limited, it's not because I'm, you know, um, taking time off. Um, it's basically because I'm like really overbooked. Um, my schedule that is so and I can only do so many readings and sessions and meditations inside a day because I don't want to burn myself out either but I am taking extra time out so for everybody as much as I can and those of you who know me know what exactly what I'm talking about so um, I just want to say thank you guys so much for like just all the support you shared with me um, since the passing of Snowy um, last month and um, you know it, it's still it's still a shock to us really and you know we're still healing from bear um, from last year and you know I just want to say thank you guys all for um, just being there and reaching out to me and you know it's just it means a lot it, it really does it makes it a lot easier especially we have to do it the way we did it in this pandemic we couldn't even bring her in because of you know everything so I don't want to go into it you just cut it from there um, and, you know, for all your support, with your comments, your shares, your likes, just everything you've done to reach out to me. Um, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. And I love you guys for it. You guys are just amazing. Um, so um, I think that's it for now. And um, yeah, I guess so. So follow me on social media. I post things on a daily basis. Um, if you'd like to subscribe to my newsletter, um, I do release a newsletter out each week. And I do update it with the new things that I'm doing, my blogs, uh, articles, and the videos that I post. So you'll get everything once a week if you don't follow me on any of these channels. So it makes sense to, you know, to do that too. So whatever you prefer. And the links are down below in the description area. Okay. So I love you guys. Thank you guys again. And um, until next time, God be with you all. Namaste.